Well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever you may be in the world. My name's Jack, VK3 Triple W, and uh, welcome to my uh, ATV transmission. My uh, involvement in amateur television only goes back about uh, probably one and a half years, just after the uh, the transmitter went digital, <coughs> I became involved. I've been making videos for quite some time and handing them over to uh, regular ATV guys who've been transmitting them. But uh, I thought I needed to get uh, my own signal up there so I can take control of my own videos. So, uh, yeah, here I am. <laughs> yeah, most of my involvement is um, is making videos ham radio, radio related and then uh, uploading them onto, uh, onto ATV. I very rarely get my face on the screen. I don't really like getting up there and... Uh, showing off that sort of thing but uh, yeah ham radio related videos like fox hunting or um, de-expeditions I've done a few of those uh, portable contests a few of those videos all sorts of things video photography is probably uh, one of my main interests outside of uh, ham radio and uh, I associate that with a with a an activity a cycling activity as well whereas I put uh, cameras on the bikes and stuff like that and go for a ride and uh, record the record the thing that's why there's a couple of uh, cycling videos already also I should say up on my um, up on my YouTube site up on Vermont Creek bed you probably uh, come across it at some stage if you uh, hang around on YouTube you've probably uh, seen uh, either one or two of the kite antenna videos I've made up there they seem to be quite popular and also there's one up there on um, radio mobile which is quite popular as well yeah so uh, what else do I get involved? I'm actually the, uh, the, the the president of the local radio club here in uh, in the eastern suburbs, the Eastern and Mountain Districts Radio Club. Our club is uh, quite a big one, one of the largest ones in VK. Uh, we've got over 250 members, and um, also I'm the uh, the uh, WIA ARDF coordinator, Amateur Radio Direction Finding Coordinator for uh, Australia. Now that takes up, at the moment it's taking up a lot of my time, that's why I'm recording this now because uh, I probably won't have time to do it on the night, but uh, yeah the uh, amateur radio direction finding, we've got the uh, Region 3 Championships coming up in September this year, 2011, so uh, that's uh, quite a bit of organising teams coming from all over the world for that, and I will have my camera there, I will be taking video, and there'll be other video there, and there'll be a, um, uh, a DVD produced for it, so there'll also be uh, video clips that I can uh, that I can show up on uh, on amateur television. I'm certainly I'll be doing that. That's for sure. Um, my station here is pretty simple. The transmitter is uh, just a Com Comtec module, putting out a few milliwatts into a uh, VK5 EME uh, PA, running about uh, 10 or 11 watts on 23 centimeters into a uh, 11 element. 23 centimeter Yagi, homebrew Yagi up on the roof. So uh, my location here is pretty good to the uh, repeater site, but um, unfortunately in the winter months, which it's now winter here in uh, in Melbourne, I tend to get uh, knocked around quite a bit. If it's been raining a lot during the day and, uh, and raining at the time I'm transmitting, I have a terrible signal into the repeater. But if there's no rain, it's pretty good. There's probably wet trees or something in the way or just uh, just the rain just knocking around the 23 centimetre signal. My signal's only analogue going in. It comes out digital. If you can do that, yeah. <laughs> That's not really not really a digital signal, but uh, analogue converted to digital. And, um, and, and yeah, I get up on Wednesday nights usually and uh, rebroadcast the WIA news, which is... Uh, broadcast every Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon or evening here across Australia and there's a rebroadcast from uh, from my station on Wednesday nights. I do a dual transmission. I transmit on two meters as well as uh, on television and then that's uh, by default picked up by the British Amateur Television uh, repeater network and uh, quite a few people can watch that as well. The um, the uh, BATC site actually is quite good because uh, I do remember last year for the VK100 WIA down at the EMDRC club rooms we had our, our uh, one week of operating the call sign 
and on the weekend of that week we set up a television station down at the club rooms and uh, we had cameras going down there and putting the whole thing live to air. That had, uh, on the BATC site, had um, I think about 16, 16 people or maybe 23 people at once connected to it. There was always someone different. They were mostly in VK but they were from uh, other countries as well all around the world. So it's a really good asset to have. Okay, I've been reading before that uh, someone said it's not really ham radio, but uh, um, it, it's somewhere along the way it is ham radio. <laughs> There's some RF along the way. If it was someone sitting in front of a computer with a, uh, yeah, with a webcam and that sort of thing, that's not ham radio, but uh, you need to have a license to, um, to use the device anyway, so uh, that's one part that it is ham radio. Well, I'm rambling on here. Hopefully, in the uh, behind me here, I've uh, got some of the stuff that I uh, that I do playing away, and I'll probably uh, be breaking away from this vision a little bit, and uh, and uh, showing you some of the stuff that I do. But I do like taking video, and uh, amateur television is uh, one way of um, showing everyone else what you're up to, rather than uh, making videos and put them up on YouTube and then uh, forget about them. All right, that's enough from me. Uh, seven three and uh, and nice to be with you tonight. VK three triple W going clear. Cheers. Where did you get your inspiration to become an astronaut? Over. Tom, when I was younger, I met uh, an, uh, an astronaut, Dr. Sally Ride, and when I met her, I realized, wow, she's a real person, just like me, and it made me realize that maybe I could do this job, and that I should work hard and I should try. And that's why I'm talking to you today, hoping that all of you will realize that jobs that you think are just for special people are actually for you. Doesn't mean you all have to be astronauts, but it does mean that you can have your dream job if you work hard over 